Hey everyone, welcome back to 2230, your go-to channel for in-depth insights into the latest news and developments across Asia. Today, we're diving into a significant update from Singapore regarding its traffic management system. Let's delve into the details. Traffic cameras in Singapore have long been synonymous with catching motorists running red lights. However, starting from tomorrow, these cameras will be equipped with an additional feature, detecting speeding motorists, as announced by the traffic police. According to a statement from the Singapore Police Force SPF, the activation of the speeding function in red light cameras will commence progressively from April 1, covering various areas across the island. The priority for activation will be given to locations with a higher incidence of traffic violations or accidents. Red light cameras, distinguishable by their orange paint with white stripes, will now bear a sign indicating a traffic police camera zone along with the corresponding speed limit. This serves as a clear warning to motorists approaching these areas. The decision to integrate speeding detection into red light cameras stems from a concerning trend highlighted by the police. Despite existing enforcement measures, motorists continue to exceed speed limits in areas perceived as unmonitored. This persistence has led to a decline in detected speeding violations through cameras, while police enforcement operations have observed an increase. Recent data reveals a troubling rise in fatal traffic accidents between 2022 and 2023. Fatal accidents, including those caused by red light running, speeding, and drink driving, have seen a significant uptick, prompting authorities to take proactive measures. In response to these trends, the traffic police are adopting a stricter stance against errant motorists. This includes revising composition sums and demerit points for traffic offenses, with further details to be announced. Offenders may face prosecution, license suspension, or revocation, and even imprisonment in cases resulting in grievous harm or death. In light of these developments, motorists are urged to adhere to speed limits and exercise caution on the roads, regardless of camera presence. Responsible driving not only ensures personal safety but also contributes to the overall well-being of the community. As Singapore takes proactive steps to enhance road safety through technology and enforcement, it underscores the importance of collective responsibility in fostering a safer and more sustainable transportation ecosystem. That wraps up our coverage of the latest update on Singapore's traffic management system. What are your thoughts on this initiative? Do you believe it will effectively deter speeding and reduce accidents? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, drive safe and stay informed.